So, I am told that the uh, Hennepin County Government Center has taken down the UN flag. So, as we did with Occupy, we're going to take a little drive here and we're going to see if the Hennepin County Government Center has taken down the hated UN flag. We're about a block away, so let's see what happened. And then, of course, because of the light rail and all this other nonsense down here, we got to go around the block, so we have to go three blocks out of our way to drive by the Hennepin County government. So, but that's okay. Well, there's one flag. Here we have the... We're going to come up on the one of the government centers here. This is the jail right over here, actually. There we have... Three flags. That is the inside of Government Center, and you can see that there is an American flag flying in there. This is some other government building, the Ministry of Truth, apparently. That must be what that is. There is a flagpole over there. You probably can't make it out, but over there is a flagpole with only the American flag flying. Of course, there's no place to park. I have to get out of the car and go down the block here because there's no place to park, and I've got to get to the City Hall because the city hall was the offending place. I've driven past it three times, but you can't just fly or drive past city hall. You have to go through all this other machinations to get to city hall. So, because you can't, you can't, you know, drive by city hall, you know, this is what we have to do. We have to go around the block about four times until we can find a spot to park. And of course, I have to go to the electronic parking facility and use my credit card. So now I have 38 minutes. Then you have to take this and put this in your car, which we're now going to go put this in the car. Then we're going to walk down and see if the UN flag still flies. It wasn't so many, it wasn't so long ago when I worked at the Evil Neighbor that I actually ran down this street pell mell on March 30th, 1981, the day that uh, Reagan was shot. And I was working at, uh, remember I was having lunch at the haberdashery down at the Reds <laughs> and I want and there used to be right in here right now it's a golfing place there used to be this fantastic Naga Hyde bar like uh, they had in uh, Mary Tyler Moore this was like the Mary Tyler Moore bar and it was Naga Hyde it was red and black and it had all these 60s lighting fixtures right in there I thought that was amazing and this, of course, is City Hall. And over there is Government Plaza. Where's the Occupy dude? We had one Occupy dude. Occupy is gone, apparently. I don't see Occupy down here anywhere. Yeah, here's uh, Hennepin County Plaza, Government Plaza. Don't see any Occupy protesters here. But there are three flags flying. And one is the, you can't make them out, but one is the Hennepin County flag, the other is the state of Minnesota, and finally, the U.S. flag. And then right across the street, as I drove by earlier, same situation, but no U.N. flags. So that is thanks to um, Jeff Johnson and uh, Mark Stenglin, who listened to Davis and Emmer and uh, said, you know, Stenglin is the one that said, I'll sponsor a resolution for you if you want to... Uh, get rid of the UN flag, we can do it. And so they had a resolution passed and that is the end of the UN flag flying over this plaza, which kind of helps from the Occupy perspective as well, because really, uh, you know, one of the things that really rankled us and as well as a lot of the vets that called was that the UN flag would be flying at the same height as the US flag down here. So thanks to you guys, and that is people that called Hennepin County, also to Mark and Jeff, uh, thank you guys very much for, uh, for getting rid of the, U the hated flag of tyranny, the UN flag. And then all that flies over this plaza is the United States flag, the Hennepin County flag, and the state of Minnesota flag.